Sorry I haven't uploaded a video in a while, but my Chrome, old Chromebook broke, but it was only a $180 Chromebook. I had a warranty on it, but I had already repaired it twice. You know, with the warranties on um, Chromebooks or any laptop, any electronic device, you just ship it in. If it's broken, you crack the screen. This is the optional warranty you buy for like $50 for two years. Um, you break this, you crack the screen, um, you get it wet, whatever, you send it in, they repair it, they send it back. I did that twice. The third time I couldn't do it because um, the cost of the previous repairs had already surpassed the cost of the Chromebook, which is $180. So now I'm buying a laptop. Though I was, I went to Walmart and I was going to try out a laptop with a riser processing processor, which is way better than an i7. So um and also had a graphics card too that could play the latest video games and i figured um when i'm tired i'd rather play video games than you know like Baldur's gate 3 than watch stuff because at least when playing video games you're using your mind and you're utilizing strategies and you're doing stuff and you're thinking um so you're utilizing your brain whereas when you're just watching stuff you're basically in a vegetative state and um so i think i'll use like um video games to reward myself when I've had like a good week, you know, like maybe on a Sunday, play like six hours, you know, play Boulder Gate, Boulder's Gate for six hours, or at the end of the day, play Boulder's Gate for an hour, I've had a really great day. And I have the, I don't have good self-control, but I have the ability the next day to not do anything if I binge to eat. And I haven't had problems with binge eating um, ever since I went to Alabama, I was eating healthy. I stopped vaping. A change of environment really makes it easier to change bad habits. Um, so I would take any opportunity to move somewhere as a great opportunity to get rid of old habits. Because once you're in a new environment, you change enough things. Also, changing your appearance can help. Anything that, any external change in your environment or even in your appearance can help you to more easily change yourself. And even if it's just like a placebo effect, like it's some sort of a spiritual thing you underwent, maybe you got, you know, born again as a Christian or whatever. This is feeling that there's this change, that something has changed, um, can help you to eliminate old habits and become a new person. And um, yeah, it's uh, it's really helpful to understand that sort of psychology. I'll look into it more in the future. But um, yeah, so. I have an i5 here and Intel graphics, so I can't play any decent video games on this. For an extra 200 bucks, yeah, I'll get a I'll get a laptop that can play video games. Um, because there are a lot of great ones I want to play, especially Boulder's Gate 3. It's such a great game. Um, but yeah, now like um, after my my sister's wedding and meeting all my cousins who are so successful, like. They're like they work at Goldman Sachs. They're you know engineers from the NSA. They're very intelligent, very good people. Irish Catholic, all very nice people, very good people. Wear their heart on their sleeves. Have basic basic values. You know they're not the type of people that you know you know they're not none of them were like people that bullied any other kids. They were nor were they bullied. They were all you know had very nice lives. Um, unlike me, unfortunately, um, and had, and have great lives now, but, um, yeah, I have genetics for success on both sides of my family. It's just my one family on both my father's side and my mother's side is really the fucked up family, which is unfortunate, but I think it was all meant to be. I think it was all for my own character development and self growth and to truly understand what human suffering is all about. Um, I'm kind of tired. Um, I just got a new script in my heart medication last night, so I figured I would, you know, why not um, have a cheat day, you know, once a month when I get my heart medication, because then I can eat and then take the heart medication so I don't have chest pains. But um, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. Um, I don't think I'll do cheat days in the future because my health is so shitty that, like, it fucks up the next day. I had so much energy in the previous days. Um, today I feel like crap. Um, well, I felt okay in the morning, and then after I worked out, I felt like crap, and, you know, it's probably from eating six slices of pizza last night. 
Um, it's not worth it because like I'd rather be work. I want. I've created projects I'm excited to work on. I have things I'm re excited to research. Um, books I'm excited to take notes about in regards to, in regards to interviews. Notes about marketing and marketing terminology. Books about marketing. Podcasts I want to do. People I want to I want to reach out to to do podcasts and all that. Um, and so many different um, podcasts and blogs that I want to do. So many different. Yeah, you know, I want to try my hand at so many different things. I'm so excited now, and uh, I need to be able to do podcasts. I need to have good audio equipment. I need to have a good computer that allow me to like, you know, edit videos quickly and e efficiently and effectively, so I can do stuff like Asm Gold does, where he, re he reacts to videos. Cause like I'll write like 500 page essays about YouTube videos I've watched, where I break it down and all that. So like. Instead of doing that, why don't I just make videos where I show pieces of a, a YouTube clip online that's popular and then talk about my take on it. And uh, that allows me to be much more to the point. Like I take that 500, those 500 words, make a nice short video where I am concise to the point and provide a lot of value. And it's a good high quality video that's low effort, doesn't require a lot of effort, but it's very high quality. I mean, it does require video editing and all that, but besides that, um, it doesn't even require video editing as long as I can set it up so that I can show the video and have my face in the corner and then also take up the full screen and switch between all that. Like, yeah, yeah like this, uh, so many things I could be doing that are fun and engaging that would create high quality content and also something that I have fun with and enjoy and that would get me back into reading a lot writing a lot speaking a lot all the time and really enjoying it and really reaching out to tons of people you know talk doing long format podcasts doing long format debates about important issues to get to the bottom of it see what I'm wrong about see what I'm correct what I'm correct about um, really discover the truth or approximate the truth to the greatest of my ability, solve the puzzles of life, these controversial issues where it's hard to discover what the truth is because there's so much propaganda and bullshit. But I find that fun because, like, you go to the primary source, source, primary source documents and a lot of times the truth is more nuanced and either side of the debate is um, putting forward. One side of the debate is usually more aligned to the truth and the other side of the debate is more aligned to just pure propaganda and bullshit for ideological reasons. But a truly nuanced approach requires that you don't have any ideology, any political or religious or any sort of ideology whatsoever, and to look at it purely from logic and evidence. Um, not saying you can't have spiritual beliefs, but um, and and principles that you live by, but you have to make understand the truth shall set you free, as the Bible says. Um, it's better to have a it's better to know a sad truth than to embrace a happy lie. Because you know, embracing the lie means that you don't understand how the world really works, and so your actions will not be informed by the truth, and then you'll end up making mistakes that will cost everybody um, their happiness, maybe, maybe even their lives in the future. Um, but yeah, I think things are finally, you know, like, I haven't... Like yesterday was like a just a spur of the moment thing, but I yeah I am over binge eating. I don't have any desire to binge eat. I just did it yesterday because I had been eating healthy and I was like, well, why not? Once a month isn't so bad. I don't think even once a month is good. I think in the future after I get healthy, maybe once a month I'll I'll have a cheat day. But um yeah after like a few months of really getting healthy and getting my heart where it needs to be and my digestive system where it needs to be then i'll start introducing cheat days um but in the meantime i just need a wide variety of healthy food that you know and learn how to cook a lot of different things like japanese meals because they're very healthy and delicious in so many different fucking ways so yeah sorry that this was kind of all over the place and i prepare it but yeah, it's day 32, um, things are going well, and um, in the future on my videos, I'm going to try and make higher quality, I'm really going to put work into it, and I'm really going to start working on expanding my Discord for uh, people who are 
want accountability partners and spying people I can call every day for five to ten minutes to update them on my self-improvement progress, really build a tribe of people who are dedicated to lifelong self-improvement, self-actualization, so on and so forth, and that'll be great.